Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. Alex Ruiz, who is 22 years old, works as a server at Georgia's Cinco de Mayo Mexican Grill. When a man in a wheelchair came in to order and asked for help with his food, Ruiz didn't hesitate to help him. Ruiz sat across from the man in the booth and gave him all of his shrimp tacos. He also made small talk with the man asking him about his family, his life and if he needed a ride home. I did what I thought should be done. Reginald Whitener, who lives in Douglasville and goes to the restaurant often, saw the whole thing and was moved by Ruiz's kindness. He took a picture of Ruiz feeding the man and put it on the internet. So, I'm at Cinco de Mayo, and Alex, the server, had a man come in without hands. Alex is now giving the man help eating his lunch. This really hit me where it hurts. Still good people out there. In the post, he said. From the picture, it looks like Ruiz and the man have been talking for a long time, but it was actually their first time meeting. There was never a time when they felt uncomfortable or awkward around each other. It made me feel better to see them together. Ruiz said, I saw a man who needed help. I did what I thought was right. Whitener talked to Ruiz every day, so he wasn't completely surprised by what he did. Ruiz was always happy and made everyone around him feel good. It made him happy to help people who were in trouble. He deserves every good thing in his life, bless this man. The restaurant was impressed by Ruiz and praised him. They shared Whitener's post again, and that's when it got a lot of attention. Crystal Figueroa, a waitress, said that everyone at work told him what a great guy he was. The internet loved this act of kindness right away and sent Ruiz blessings and love. That just isn't something you see. Someone who gives food to a stranger. Wrote one person dude, kudos. We, as people, need to be doing that. We need to help each other instead of making fun of each other. Sir, I tip my hat to you, said someone else. I hope his other tables also gave him good tips. He deserves all the good things that happened to him. The world needs more people like him, wrote someone else. Ruiz was surprised by how people felt. He didn't think anything like it would happen. I didn't want it to get so much attention. He said, I just wanted to help. Six months have passed since Ruiz moved from Chicago to Georgia. He has a son, and he wants to show him how to be loving. Kindness is hard to find in a world that has mostly shown itself to be mean. We tend to be more cautious and negative because of this. People like Ruiz are like precious gems that help us believe that people are good. They need to be cared for and encouraged so that one day, being kind and caring won't be so unusual. That's it for today friends. Please let us know what you think about this story, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in next time for more amazing stories.